Welcome to First Time Recipes, the show where I cook recipes for the very first time here on camera. Tonight I'm going to be making Mahi Mahi with a pineapple salsa. Yeah, I know, I didn't think it sounded very good either. But I looked at the list of ingredients, and I looked at the picture, it looks pretty yummy. Now normally I'm not a fish person, but in this new year I'm trying to be more healthy with my diet. So I'm cutting out fatty foods, fried foods, and fast food. So this is a, uh, a broiled fish dish with a little, little bit of a light pineapple salsa. I think the flavors should mix well together. We'll see how it goes. So let's get cooking. And the ingredients needed. Mahi mahi. Garlic. Onion. Cayenne pepper or paprika. Fresh cilantro. Green pepper. Limes. Fresh pineapple. Diced jalapenos olive oil, and rum. We're going to start by making the salsa first. We're going to start by cutting up the pineapple. It says we need half a core. Uh, so I'm going to remove the pineapple. Cut it in half. I wonder if you actually eat the center. I don't think so. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the center it goes out. And now time to... Uh, Cut this up. Now it says finely chopped, so I'm not really sure how fine. But I'm guessing if we're making salsa, it should be uh, pretty small. I'm sure you're not going to want huge chunks of pineapple with your fish. I know, I'm trying to say it over and over again, because I'm, I'm thinking eventually it's going to taste okay. Pineapple and fish, pineapple and fish, pineapple and fish. And here's where you see that I am not a chef at all. I am just a guy who likes to cook. Finely diced is going to turn into smushed up pineapple. Here is my pineapple, nicely diced. Well, diced and mushed. And I, if you've never had fresh pineapple before, I definitely try it. It tastes so much better than out of the can. The recipe really calls for one red pepper. I'm going to tell you what, guys. Red pepper right now is really expensive. Whereas this green pepper cost me 88 cents, the red pepper was going to cost me well over two dollars. Now it's time for the onion, which you've seen me do many times before, so I'm going to skip ahead. Now I need a fourth of a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. Uh, again, I'm going to uh, butcher this, I'm sure. There we go. Alright, the only thing else that we need is the garlic. About one tablespoon is about one clove of garlic and some jalapenos so I got a jarred jalapenos because I don't like to cut and dice them and this saves a lot of time and pain on my fingers all right there's jalapeno so now we're supposed to just uh, mix all this together refrigerate and uh, we'll get to the fish. All right, it says we need some grated lime peel. I don't really have a grater for that, for zesting this thing. So I'm just going to try and uh, see if I, what I can get from this thing. Not much. But we only need one tablespoon. <laughs> I'm not an expert in weights and measures, but to me that looks like a tablespoon. Now I need uh, two tablespoons of juice. That's much easier. We're just going to cut this guy in half, get a few score lines. Now 
and squeeze. Time to add what little pineapple juice I have. A tablespoon of rum. Ooh. That's a little more than a tablespoon, but I don't think anyone's gonna mind. A tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm gonna use a teaspoon of paprika. I know I originally said I was gonna use uh, uh, cayenne pepper, but uh, I just think it's gonna be too hot. The pepper I have is way, way too hot. I have my broiling pan here, some nonstick spray. Coat the pan with some nonstick spray. Now time to put on the fish. Here are the fish. And this little guy, I think he's gonna burn to a crisp. Alrighty, now this is broil like eight minutes and then uh, turning once, so we'll, we'll give that a shot. Let's see how this turns out. Fingers crossed. In case you didn't know why your oven stayed open, this little gap here is for broiling. If you have an electric range or electric oven, you leave this little gap open to broil. And there's our fishies inside. Of course, you can't see because my oven's filthy, but hey, I like to cook, not clean, folks. I thought I might add a little corn to the dish. Well, not in the dish, as a side dish, to uh, round out the meal. Oh, in case I didn't mention, you want to broil the uh, fish four to six inches from the, the actual burners, or the electric element. Four to six inches. We're at halfway now. Let's see how we look. Oh, it's a little pink in the middle. We're going to uh, put them over. Time to put them back in for a little while. It actually smells pretty good though for being fish. It smells like we're starting to burn, so I'm going to uh, turn all this off. Ugh. Well, we look done. All right, let's get my fish. And some salsa. There we go. Let's go see how it tastes. Broiled mahi mahi with a pineapple salsa. Let's give it a try, shall we? Oh, the fish just flaked right off. That's interesting. The fish is actually pretty good. And the salsa and the sweet, onion, cilantro. I think I could eat this fish. I think I could eat this on a regular basis. It wasn't too hard to make. The greens are pretty common. And it's a very flavorful dish and healthy. So if, uh, if you're not a big fish, fish lover, uh, give us a try. It's, uh, it's really yummy. So that's all the time we have today on First Time Recipes. Looks like this one was a success. So hopefully, hopefully the first time you try recipes, it'll be a success. So subscribe to my channel, guys. Um, send me some recipes, and uh, let's do some cooking. Have a good night. Understand my intentions. <laughs> Ooh, we